I thank all of you who committed, kept persisting, but were not done. 2017 was the year of the resistance, but 2018 is the year of the woman. Our efforts have been to hold our elected officials accountable, make our voices heard, a movement largely led by women. In 2017, 15,000 women signed up for She Should Run. 25,000 signed up for Emily's List. That's 25 times more than 2016. And in November, in Virginia, they elected their first African-American, openly gay, openly trans, and Latino women to office. And this last Tuesday in Wisconsin, a woman picked up a Senate seat by 11 percentage points that was previously won by the GOP by 26 points in 2016. Yeah. Voting in elected officials that represent us, that will engage the community and harness energy to advocate for policies is what we must do in 2018. Yeah. So my call to action for you today is to volunteer, to donate for a camp, to a campaign, sign their petitions, register people to vote. Like mentioned before, the candidates and organizations will have tables in the collaboratory, so please come join us after the event. Voting is our superpower. And we must power to the polls. For that reason, I'm excited that next, we're going to hear from a group of amazing women that are running for local office. First up is Teresa Gaspar. She is, woo, she is running for Congressional District 10 to challenge Representative Mike Turner. We spent the last year asking, where's Mike? Now I'm proud to say, here's Teresa. Joy, Sue, all of the organizers, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, to all the women who have been speaking here today, thank you so much for your passion, your dedication, and your commitment, not just to your cause, but to our community. And thank you to all of you, all of you for showing up. That's half the battle is just showing up. You know, in November of 16, I joked that I felt like I was the liberal crisis hotline because all of my friends and family were calling saying, Teresa, how did this happen? In December, I still had no clue, but I realized that I needed to just figure something out and I was working too hard at it. So I decided to step into that proverbial river and go with the flow and see where it led me. Well, in January, it led me to DC, to the Women's March. And boy, was I proud when I saw on Twitter, everybody here. We had no clue what was going on. We couldn't move where we were. In February, it led me to the Sister Giant Summit. And Marianne Williamson said, too many of us feel that politics is dirty and ugly and nasty and toxic. And maybe that's because we aren't showing up with our love and our light. Others spoke of love being perceived as weak, as too soft. If you believe that, I ask you to stand between a mama bear and her cubs. Love is fierce, love is tough, and sometimes love says, oh, hell no. That November, we woke up stunned in disbelief. Last January, we marched and we told the world, hell no. We spent the, the last year burning up servers and switchboards and fax machines in our representatives' offices, demanding that they listen to us. Sometimes they did, 
but often they didn't. So now we've lost net neutrality. We've lost some of our public lands. Many will lose access to affordable health care. And now in our community, we're losing a hospital. And how many people woke up this morning losing a paycheck because Congress can't figure out how to do their job and come up with a two-year budget? But let's talk about what we have gained. We have gained our resolve. We have gained our voice. We have gained a greater appreciation of our country and of our democracy. And we have gained a greater sense of our obligation to future generations. In January last year, we showed DC that we were not happy. And we all know when mama ain't happy, there ain't nobody happy. We spent the year putting them on notice. And now, now we're coming for their jobs. People like me, like Kim, like Carolyn, like Susan, and thousands of others across the country. We gave them the chance to clean up their act, and instead they became drunk with power. Woo! Now we will do what women typically do. We will go in and clean up a mess that somebody else created. We are 51% of the population, and now, more than ever, a woman's place is in the House. And in the Senate. But not to take over, to establish balance, to teach the world that collaboration, cooperation, and compromise are not four-letter words. We cannot obstruct our way to governing any more than we can resist our way to compromise. Einstein said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing the same way and expecting a different outcome. Amen. Amen. It is time for a new way, a different way with a sane outcome. A way that takes the best ideas from all parties and merges them into solutions that help the many instead of the few. And women will lead that charge. It started last year when we took to the streets and it continues today as we take their seats. In December one year ago, I decided to go with the flow. It led me to my first march, and now it has led me to my first run. My name is Teresa Gasper. I am a small business owner. I'm the fifth generation of my father's side in the family to live in Dayton, specifically in South Park. I am running for the US Congress for the Ohio 10th District. I am here, and I hear you, and I promise you, if you elect me in November, the people of D.C. will hear you too. Thank you.